Hey, how's it going? It's Martin Ross and today we're going to be doing a review video. A long time ago I did a review video using your talk box and your DAW and I want to go over that again because it was a really controversial video and people had some complaints and I'm going to iron those complaints out today. All right. So before we get into it, head on over to my link in my description. So producers out there, please check out my sound library source. Source Vibes is a gigantic source library for the 90s and 2000s sound samples. If you like that, please check it out. Also, check out all my other links in the description. My Instagram is my most active thing. Um, just be in mind that uh, takes a lot of work to do these YouTube videos. So without further ado, I'm going to get into it. What we have here is my talk box and my MIDI controller. All right. That's the basics. So I'm not going to move this all around, but this is my talk box. This is my power cord and this is my input, the output from my audio box, whatever audio box you have, you're going to go from an output to an input of your Rocktron branch. That's what I have is a wrong truck Manchi. Whatever you want to use, you can use that. And the only thing that I have is the MIDI, the USB uh, MIDI port plugged in to my computer. All right, so let's review that again. I have my TRS cable. I use TRS so that way it is um, less noise. All right, and then I have the TRS from the input to the output of my DAW or audio box, not my DAW, my audio box. Then I have my MIDI controller connected to my Mac or PC, whatever you want to use. So this is a fresh startup of my DAW, which is Personas. Like most DAWs, you want to go to your song setup, all right, or your what we call your uh, audio matrix, whatever. So. I have my output of my TRS. I'm going to label it talk box here. I have my output of my TRS or output eight. So output eight is right here. So I want to select that. All right. So any sound that I push will go to output eight. Now I'm going to drag and drop a basic uh, instrument. You can choose whatever you want. Okay, it doesn't matter what it is, as long as it's a VST that has a sound that you want to use your talk box with. All right, I'm going to take off the portamento so that way it's more talk boxes. This is just a default patch, guys, don't worry. Now, this is the trick. Right now, your track is set to the main. So if I play it, it's going to come out of the main, right? We don't want that, right? Remember that sub I created? Well, find your VST track. Find out what its output is. For me, my output is the main. I remember I created the track called Talkbox. I'm clicking that. Now I shouldn't hear any sounds except for the sound out of my Talkbox. So make sure that you have it set to where only a particular device, as I have set up, is only controlled by your VST. All right, so no other issues happen. Now I might be. I might be doubling this effect, and I apologize if I am, but I'm going to create an input track. All right. Now, I'm going to probably have to mute my recording session for this mic, but I'm going to be recording on the same mic, so please be aware that there might be some audio glitches. I'm literally doing this on the spot for you guys and as quick as possible because the main complaints were I talk too much. Well, this is a touchy subject, and this subject is a lot of the times, a lot of the times, kind of uh, confused, kind of um, messed up. Okay, so now I'm moving on to this recording part. Now, I have to let you guys know that you need to activate your track for playback or for listening, whatever doll you use, what it's called. Um, I have it as active monitoring, AKA listening. And I have the vocal track that I'm recording to, I have it armed and obviously playback if you want to hear it in your headphones, but I'm not going to do the headphones so you can see what I'm doing. So just be in mind, again, I said it again, I did this on the spot, so please be aware there might be some audio glitches is because I'm just doing this raw right now. So right now you're listening to the recording track, and this is the recording track of the, of the DAW here. And so, um, yeah. This is what it's going to sound like. Oh, yeah. 
I am now recording off my dumb using my sub sub mix sub mix baby 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 So I'm gonna untrigger everything and we're just gonna hear talk box. Ooh, yeah. I am now recording off my dumb using my sub Submix. All right, folks, and that's going to do it for this Talk Box Tuesday. I know it's super late, probably. Probably not going to get time to upload it as fast because I'm probably working right now while this is uploading or probably recording another video while this is uploaded. But I want you guys to, again, let's review this. Um, I'm going from a selected output of my audio box to the input of my Talk Box. I'm using my MIDI controller, just the USB plug to my Mac or PC, whatever you want to use. I have dedicated an output in my audio matrix. I have told that VST or whatever program that's in the DAW that I'm using to push out to that output that I want to choose so I don't hear that in the main mix. I've also dedicated my MIDI board or MIDI controller to just that VST software. When I recorded, I made sure that I had my recording set and I had my VST active or in listening or playback mode so I can hear myself play it. And there you have it. You have your DAW TalkBox VST setup. Um, before I end this video, I just want to let you guys know please understand that I put a lot of effort into this stuff. It's hard and it's free information. I'm not getting paid for a lot of this stuff. And just please understand that not everything is going to be hand fed to you. This is not an easy thing. It's a very complicated thing to do for some people just looking into. Sometimes when people hear the word matrix, they're like, what the heck are you talking about? So just be aware that not everything that I'm teaching is going to be basic level. It might be a little bit of intermediate to higher levels, but I'm trying my best to make it as simple as possible for you guys. And it, it just, the videos that I do may come across as I'm talking too much, but it's, you've got to absorb the information I'm telling you because it's a lot. And obviously I love doing videos and I love talking. So I try to break that down and edit that out as much as possible. But I want to thank you guys so much, so, so much for checking this video out. Hopefully this video is more direct for you guys and you saw more I would say um, and if you have any more questions please leave them in the comments um, in the previous video I show I, I'll try my best to pin that and have you guys see what I'm doing right now but uh, before you take off please check out my sound library the links are all in the description my sound library resources for like producers that like to use samples and instruments it's all in there um, there's a plethora of stuff like from 80s 90s 2000s today sound all in those links also check out my instagram that's where i'm more active i am martin ross again link is in the description and before we go again hit that like button any questions leave some comments let me know what you think of the video also 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 the most important part is to share and click that subscribe button and hit the bell so that way you get instant notifications in your mobile device or you know whatever you use um but this week is going to be a lot more stuff coming because I know I'm probably going to miss out most of this week, which this week is probably over if you're watching the video and it's probably a week past. So please be aware. Um, yeah, it's been a, been a rough, uh, rough week, not feeling too great, but I'm getting better. So again, this is Martin Ross. Thank you so much for watching. Take it easy.